Valentine's Day is just a couple of weeks away. Are you ready? No? Well, let's talk to Morgan Casey. She has help for you. She created Date Ideas STL. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Well, you have a Facebook page that can help us with ideas and a pinch. Tell us about it. Yes, so I have a company called Date Ideas and Things to Do in STL, where we get to, you know, just so, show all of the different things to do in the city. The cool thing about it is it's community. So there's literally over 200,000 people that are helping give advice to other people all around the city. And one idea you have is Idira Italian Eatery. What do you love so much about it? I love the fact that, you know, it's like a secluded private space that you can have with um, you and your partner. Uh, the food is amazing, which is an important part, um, you know, but the other really neat thing is that even if it's not just a, a date with just you and your partner and you're wanting to do a double date, they have other sizes of the igloos um, on their patio that you can choose from. So those igloos you reserve uh, uh, just for you and your sweetie and that's it? Yes is that you can go right to their website and do that. That sounds perfect, especially in this environment. What do you recommend if a couple wants a change of scenery but can't get out of town? Definitely a staycation. I have been on so many staycations since COVID started. Um, I will tell you, there's so many different options here in St. Louis from amazing hotels to, you know, themed Airbnbs. Uh, you know, there's just so many different things that you can do as far as a staycation. And is there anything that any anywhere in particular that you recommend? I would highly suggest On God Arts Hotel. Um, that's one of my favorites simply because there's, you know, you can actually see their art all around. The, it's like a museum inside of a hotel. Um, they have the art bar on the rooftop. They also have igloos as well, uh, which is really popular. And what do you do when a couple wants to be together but keep their social distance? At home dates. Um, I think sometimes we like overlook at home dates or um, very affordable dates. You don't always have to go and spend a lot of money. You can have a private chef to come to your home and do a romantic setup. Um, you could build a fort um, inside of your home. You know, I've seen people like build a fort in their living room and just order pizza. And sometimes those are the best dates. I agree that sometimes the simpler, the better. And also, uh, so you update that Facebook page rather often, correct? Every day. <laughs> every day. All right. So you have something brand new each and every day. All right, people. Well, we will have a link to more information at fox2now.com. Morgan Casey, thank you so much for your help. We appreciate it. Thank you so much for having me.